This short video will show and explain how deflection heads work and the importance of installing them correctly, specifically in relation to fire resistance, sound insulation and structural stability. The term deflection means to move in either direction, downwards and or upwards, and we term these as live loads and dead loads. Dead loads generally relate to a one-off downward deflection only, whereas live loads can relate to deflection which can move downwards and then return back upwards to its original position due to changes in loading on a floor, or deflection which can move upwards and then return back downwards to its original position due to uplift in a building structure. We use JIP frame channels where deflection heads are installed, which are termed DC, deep channel, and EDC, extra deep channels, which are available in various widths for our range of partition systems. For the purpose of this video, we'll be installing a 15mm downward deflection head with a 60 minute fire rating incorporating single layer 15mm fire line plasterboard. Step 1. Cut and fix 19mm Jiprock core board to the back of 72 DC 60 channel with 35mm drywall screws. Details fire tested have incorporated Jiprock core board, glass rock F fire case and timber but it may be possible to use double layer 12.5mm Jiprock fire line subject to actual criteria. Step 2. Apply a continuous line of Jiprock fire strip to the core board. Step 3. Fix the channels to the structure at 600mm centres. Note that two rows of staggered fixings at 300mm centres is required for channels wider than 72mm. Step 4. Install the metal studs, which should be 15mm short from the top of the channel. Note that the stud should have a minimum engagement into the track of 20mm. Note this detail is based on 15mm downward deflection, so there will be a minimum plasterboard overlap of 7mm onto the coreboard. Step 5. Cut and fix GFS1 fixing strap to the metal studs with wafer head drywall screws. The top slash uppermost part of the fixing strap should be 15mm below the bottom edge of the channel. Step 6. Cut and fix the fireline plasterboard. Note that the drywall screw at the top of the board should be fixed into the fixing strap and not the head channel. It is important to run a continuous bead of Jiprock sealant along the junction between the floor slab and core board to provide optimum sound insulation. You must not fully fill the deflection gap with sealant as this will prevent any deflection taking place. Where high levels of sound insulation needs to be maintained, it is very common to see cloaking angles, which are fitted to the underside of the floor slab, which hold the plasterboard tight against the head channel on the partition. It is estimated this can minimize the loss of sound insulation of the partition to 1 to 2 decibels, as opposed to 4 to 5 decibels. Where double layer plasterboard is used, the Jiprock fixing strap is installed between the layer of boards, as shown here. Where a two hour deflection head detail is required, short lengths of metal stud are cut and fixed between the vertical studs 15 mm below the channel, installing the stone mineral wool at the same time into the web of the stud. There you have it! A quick guide on how to form deflection heads.